The new update brings out a lot of things and I'm going to tell you all about them in this video. Now we have the best part of the new update, the special training event. This event you can do match missions and you can level up with those missions and get these. Once you reach day of level 5, you can get this skin right here. Here we have the limited sword. There's an expiry date above it and it will change depending on the day you look at it. But you can buy the single sword for 400 robux or the dual wheel sword for 3500 robux. The nebula scythe has no idle effect other than this one. It gives it like Song Jin Woo purple mode vibe kind of from solo leveling. So I ra like it but I wouldn't recommend spending 400 robux on it let alone 3.5k on the dual version. In the server selection we have a new mode called 50 player mode. This is only here for limited time but this is basically just for... 50 a battle royale of 50 players in a server here we have one of the best parts of the update in my opinion which is the halloween crate now the best part of this is that it does not cost us robux to make i know that's shocking we don't have to spend robux to get new items so there are six weapons you can get the demon blade the witch's broomstick blood Ga gazer's edge dreadbone great axe hellfire shadow splicer and staff of the accursed now the first five so let me showcase these for you this one would be the demon blade it does not have any effect so the first appeal two out of ten this looks like a normal weapon here we have the witch's broomcraft already it looks so much better than the old one it has that fire effect at the end and just that idle effect this one is already a seven out of ten it just fits the vibes so well now we have the blood gazer's edge there isn't really an idle effect like the witch's broomstick but there is an effect that this fits gives me the vibe of like a vampire this one i give a 6 out of 10 they could add a better idle effect here we have the dreadbone great axe and already this is my favorite weapon just the color the coloring gives it necromancer vibe skeleton necromancer the effect it's just amazing it just fit, makes it look creepy perfect for halloween now we have the hellfire shadow slicer already the idle effect is so much better than the rest of the ones it's although it does drown out the sword modeling so you can't really see it properly but the effect is pretty cool i would give this a 7 out of 10 just because the model is getting drowned out by the effect they're overdoing it but it is a cool effect if you guys want a free battle pass make sure you guys join my discord i am doing a giveaway for a free battle pass to one lucky winner when we reach a thousand members now thank you all for watching